A double shooting over the weekend at a northwest neighborhood has torn apart two friends. Metro police say the gunman fired on two men. One of them was killed. The other is recovering at the hospital. And that's where we join News 3's Antonio Costellan at UMC to bring us an update tonight. Jim, the murder victim's friend, the other man who was shot, is still here at UMC Hospital. He is in serious condition. People who witnessed the shooting say the gunman fired cold-heartedly. Dan was always a, a humble man and a very good friend of ours. He loved everybody. Everybody loved him. He'll be cherished in our hearts and all in our souls. Friends of 22-year-old Darian Contreras mourn his loss days after he was shot and killed at this Northwest home Saturday afternoon. The shooting happened near Rainbow and Alexander. Here is Darian on the right with his friend Larry Mitchell. Police say the two friends were shot as they stood outside the home. Mitchell is still recovering at UMC Hospital. Luis Baca's father heard the gunfire. He was just fixing my, my door when the shots happened. So everybody had to run in a house. Everybody was actually really scared for the safety of the children. Metro homicide detectives say the gunman walked up to Darian and his friend and just started firing as several kids played basketball on the street. Witnesses say the suspected gunman was a young black man with a blue backpack and gray hoodie. The suspect wearing blue jeans walked away from the shooting. Investigators believe the victims were targeted and the motive might have been tied to drugs. Darian's friend over the phone says it's important the murderer is caught. It's very important because we all lost a family friend. We all lost a family member. Darian's loved ones say he was just playing video games at the house when the gunman confronted him. The 22-year-old leaves behind a child. You can bring life back. You can bring, you leave children without parents and parents without children by killing people. So, no, that doesn't bring you any peace. Metro homicide detectives say they are looking through all the home surveillance in the neighborhood. They are hoping that maybe that will lead to an arrest. Reporting live, Antonio Castellan, News 3. Antonio, thank you.